Hey, call me Shape, and today we're reacting to a video by my brother Big War titled Let Her Cheat in Peace. Let's get right into the content. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Today is still Sunday, September 29th, 2024. I'm back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm about to hit a block right quick, just ease my mind, just what I like to do, get in my old school. I got the AC blowing right now for the video. It's kind of still warm out here. So if you hear that big motor, boo, 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 I got my AC blowing. It is frosty. Good and cold in here. I told y'all I just got the AC fixed. And I'm going to enjoy it. So I am in a 66 car with air conditioning. Cold. Thank you, God. But anyway, I went out last night. This was on my mind, something I was thinking about. It's more on a lighter note, somewhat. But it's to men. This message is to men. Listen to me. If you're brave enough to be in a relationship nowadays with a woman, or a man, if you go vote, you know, however you swing, if you're brave enough to be in a relationship and that's what you want. You know, I, I, you know, you know what's going on nowadays. You see other people going through, you know, what they go through in relationships and marriage, and you're assuming it ain't gonna happen to you, or you don't want it to happen to you, or you think you're gonna stop it from happening to you. As a man, you you gonna be with a woman, even though you don't trust women. That's what kept me out of a relationship for so long, because I don't trust no damn body from the jump. You ain't gotta do nothing for me not to trust you. I just don't trust nobody. So therefore, that's why I don't jump my ass in a relationship, right? If I'm not gonna trust you. Same thing I tell you. I see a lot of men out here now, a day. And women, y'all know I ain't lying, cause y'all got these type of men that's in your, I heard, let me finish. If you are a man, If you don't trust a woman, they all cheat, they all B's and H's, whatever, they, you know, you can't trust the, uh, I don't love these, you know, if you're one of them dudes, look, don't get in no relationship. Let them know off top, I, don't, I got trust issues, I can't be in no relationship, I ain't trying to be no player, I just got trust issues. I don't trust women. Let them know ahead of time. And ladies, there are a lot of men out here, I see the majority of men out here don't trust y'all. If you're in a relationship right now, you're probably in a relationship with a man that don't trust you. And you ain't dead nothing. He just don't trust women. So, this message is... He got a good point. I mean, because it's it's we're at a point now where it's like, it's so hard to trust anybody, right? Everybody's out for self. There's no duty in relationships anymore. No one feels a duty to the commitment, right? And I'm not going to say that, like, um, I never cheated before or anything like that. But I will say this, I will say that I've been cheated on. You know what I'm saying? I will say that. And uh, it didn't bother me because I found out after the fact. Um, and the reason why it didn't bother me because I didn't take it personal. I didn't take it like it was a, some, I was lacking something. I knew where I went wrong. And I knew that, you know, if you're going to be in a relationship with a girl... You have a duty to her, and, and one of those duties is attention. She's gonna want a lot of your attention. So if you don't, if you don't have that attention output for a girl, stay single. To the old men that don't trust women, no matter what. Even, um, and I understand because I'm one of them, but I'm honest about it. I'm talking to the guys that ain't honest about it, ain't truthful to themselves, they ain't truthful to the woman they in a relationship with. Even though you don't trust a woman, you will still get in a relationship with her and then try to hold her hostage. You will still get in a relationship with a woman, even though you don't trust her. But you will still, because you're lonely, you still believe in love, you still want a relationship, you still want companionship, you still want all that, this, that, and the other, but you don't trust women, but you're going to do it anyway. But, you're going to do it and try to control the situation. You're going to try to keep her from cheating. 
because you think they all cheat, you know, all of them, all of them cheat. But instead of avoiding them and not putting yourself in that situation where you ain't gotta worry about all that, you get in a situation where you gotta worry about it and now you're worrying about it. So what you do is you hold her hostage. She becomes your prisoner. Ladies, can you relate? You probably with a man like that right now. He going through your phone, where you're going, he didn't know you ever moved. And it's women that do men like that too. So fellas don't say, no, big women do, my girl do me like that, big one. I'm talking to, I understand, all right. This to the man right now, cause what I saw last night. That's why I'm talking about a man that does this. So, he in your phone. You ain't done nothing, you ain't gave no reason not to trust you. But he still wanna go through your phones. He wanna know where you are going, what time you get off work. He'll, tell, he'll call your job. If you get up at 4 o'clock, he'll call your job at 4.15 and ask you to speak to you. You see, they're going to say you gone. Oh, he'll ride his ass up there. Ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you tell him you're going out with the girl tonight, he's going to pitch a fit, pout, be mad, did that and the other. And if you're the type of woman you're going to go anyway, you'll get to the club, he in there. Acting like he just decided to go out, you know, and ain't got nothing to do with you. He in the club. You look around at your girl like. And some folks will say, well, she got him coochie with him. No. It ain't that. This a dude that ain't got no business in their relationship until he work on his trust issues. And like me, I don't need to work on my trust issues. I ain't trusting. I ain't gonna lay on nobody's couch and tell, that gonna tell me you need to trust all women at the same. You need to trust somebody. I don't need nobody telling me now. I ain't trusting shit. You know, I don't blame him. Um, I've seen so much in my life that I wish I've never seen, right? My eyes were virgin to things at, at one point, but now I haven't seen it all. And uh, But I can never be the guy, even with that being said, right? I can never be the guy that is going through a girl's phone, right? Um, always anticipating her cheating, trying to stop her from cheating. Hell no. I'm not going to be following her through a club or put a tracker on her. Like, for what? At the end of the day, you know what I realized? Everybody owns themselves. So it's your body. You know, I might, I might, I really, I want a girl to be faithful to me. I'm, don't let me get you, get it wrong. You know what I'm saying? I want a girl to be faithful to me. And I want her to stay loyal. But the reality of it is, is she's going to put herself before me, you know? So my thought process is if I suspect you of cheating, that is more than enough evidence for me to walk out the relationship. But I'm not that kind of dude that just be thinking all of a sudden every girl cheating. I'm just trying to say, if I feel like something's changed or something's different and you acting funny and... I feel like there's a there's a lot of that, you know what I'm saying? This is like a, becoming a pattern of behavior and things don't feel right between us. Because me personally, I, if a girl cheats on you, you know, you don't really got... The reason why I don't hunt for this shit is because you're going to find out. Not through the fact that you're going to catch her in the act, but she's on her way out. Very few girls are cheating with you and trying to stay with you. There are girls like that, and those girls are dangerous, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But from my personal experience, just for me in general... The girl or the girls, I won't say the girls because there's only one girl that I, I'm aware of that cheated on me. The girl that cheated on me, she left me uh, months after cheating on me, you know? And so, you don't got to go hunting. It's going to come out. Man or woman. So, I, I ain't working on my issues. I'm keeping mine. But if you want to be in a relationship with a woman, do it knowing that they do what they do and you be okay with it. If you are brave enough to be in a relationship nowadays with a woman, if you're a man, take my advice. If you're going to do it, don't worry about what she's doing. Don't let it cross your mind. If I deal with a woman right now, I could be dealing with a woman. I might not be dealing with a woman. Ain't nobody been because I don't trust this crap here. So, I ain't put, somebody say, show us your son, big ward. Y'all don't know what kind of emails I get these crazy-ass folks. 
I'm not showing nobody my son, my family, nothing. None of my personal business other than stuff I done did in my life that only affects me. I'm not bringing no loved one into this. It's already enough for y'all at me. So you ain't gonna see my son. You ain't gonna know I'm married. Well, you know I ain't married. I never told y'all that and really all that shit. But y'all get where I'm coming from. It's a reason for that. But if I was to be in a relationship, I would go in and knowing she can leave me at any time. She feel like it. She is not mine. I don't own her. We're just sharing a moment in time with each other. If you're in a relationship or marriage, it go both ways. You don't own that person. You're only sharing a moment in time with that person. However long that moment may be, six months, year, two years, three years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. You're sharing a moment in time. That's all you're doing. They do not belong to you. So my message is, if you're with a woman, fellas, stop following around. If you think she's cheating, let her cheat in peace. Because if you think all that's going on, why are you there? If you think she's cheating or that she will cheat and you don't trust her, you got to follow her around. And the reason I said it because I was in the club last night. That's how I get on this topic. I was in the club last night. And I saw that woman that's been trying to holler at me many a time. But ain't that I'm just, that's that great. She done hollered at a lot of different folk in the club. I know a few of them knocked her off, but I didn't knock her off because she was too aggressive and that kind of throws me off. I know my bad, I'm a stud, and women can't help themselves around my aura, my, you know, I'm that, I'm that guy, so. Just a little humor here, y'all. Right. I'm rocking with him on that one. I'm that guy. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to tell you like that. I've been chased by women my entire life. I remember girls asking me to be their boyfriend since I was in kindergarten, third grade, high school, college. Like, I've been pursued by women my entire life. But I'm going to tell you like this. No matter what, you don't own a girl. It's just your turn. This idea that a woman is your property is a fallacy. It's not true. Okay, just do away with the idea, and think about that one TikTok star. I don't, think, I don't know his name right now, but he killed his wife because she wanted a divorce, and he found out that she started talking to somebody else. Why would you do that? Why would you throw your life away just to murk somebody? I don't even think that's worth it. Like, if you're gonna, I'm the kind of dude. If I walked into my home. And God forbid this happens. I don't want this to happen. But if it does, such is life. I'm, I'm kind of the kind of person where it's like anything can happen in life. It is what it is. Let's say I'm living with a girl. I come home. And I catch her in the act of cheating. Let's say I walk into the house. I go upstairs. I go to my bedroom. I open the door. I heard something. Isley Brothers, right? Who's that in my home? That kind of shit. I open up the door. And they're getting it on. I'm the kind of person I'd be like, oh. My bad, I'm sorry. I'm going to pretend like I'm in the wrong fucking house. Close the door and just leave. And that might be the last time she sees me. That's how cold I am. I'm unattached to it. So that's my advice to y'all. Don't be attached to it. Too many people are holding on to this idea that they could be easily disappointed. I, I remove all levels of disappointment. I have the lowest expectation. And like I said, I believe girls can be faithful. But I don't put it past anybody that they could cheat. That's just me. But it's a few guys now that knocked off that I know of. Come to find out she's in a relationship. And the way we find out, because now her, her partner or whoever she's in a relationship with, he followed her around now. I guess he figured out and caught on. So I'm ain't right with this girl. I need it. So now he all up in the club with her. He all up under. You know what I do that be all nowadays, men don't do a whole lot of that initiating the hugging and the kissing and the holding hand and grab. Them dudes, they'll be trying to show somebody else, yeah, she mine. Even though she ain't doing that. He doing all that. She ain't doing it. I'm the type of dude when a woman in my presence. 
They all up under me. I ain't all up under your commit, baby. An alpha male, a woman's supposed to be laying up under you, not you laying up under her. And but this is how most people have been conditioned their entire lives. They've been chasing girls. Never chase women. I don't care. There's not a single girl in the world that is worth you pursuing her. Not a single one. And as far as those dudes hugging up those girls and their arm around the girl and they're holding her hands and they're aggressively trying to show you that that's my girl. They're doing a strategy in the red pill that they call mate garden. Okay. It's the oldest, oldest strategy in the book. And uh, it's weak. It's a weak strategy because you might think you physically could have someone under control, but you don't. Right? Because he was grabbing the, the girl that Big War is describing was sleeping around, you know, even threw some at him. He didn't take it but because he was a little too aggressive. Here he is trying to grab her and protect and let everyone know he's with her. He looks like more of a fool because they're, they're like, dog, you could be hugged up on her. I was with her the other night. And this is the thing I don't want to happen to me, right? That's why I care about a girl's past because I would hate to be the dude that everyone just spun the block with this girl and I'm the one here in love with her, marrying her, put a ring on her, where everyone else shoots just a fling, you know? That's, that's, that's something that I don't ever, ever want to feel or experience. I walk into a room and many men have been with my woman for fun, for shits, for giggles, and here I am trying to provide for her and give her the world. It doesn't sit right with me. Um, but yeah, I agree with Big Ward. You know, let her cheat in peace. And just leave. You don't got to stay. You don't have to stay. Don't stay in a relationship with a girl you don't trust her. If you The guy that suspected his girl cheating and stuff following her around, just leave her. Okay? We have been taught this lie that men pursue women because we're the hunters and we hunted women. Not true. I'll tell you like this. When has ever, when has a shelter chased a homeless person? Right? Or a person? Okay? People chase shelters. Shelters don't chase peoples. And what I mean by that is that if I am the secure in the world, if we are the masculine protectors of the world, why would I chase a liability? Right? Wouldn't it make more sense for a liability to chase a security? I'm just saying. If we're talking about evolutionary stuff with hunters and stuff, in the wild, it was, if we think it's dangerous for women right now in civilization, imagine in the wild, it was way more dangerous because shit was out there trying to eat us, including her, and she was the weak link, and the babies and the kids, so who did they chase? They chased us for security and protection. So, anyway, that's the video. I hope you liked this video. Shout out to Big War. That's my brother, man. I rock with him. Go follow his channel. I'm going to put his channel, the link inside the description. Also, the link to the video in the description. Check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys over there.